Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name's Ed Bird, and today I've got a review for you of the Seal Skins waterproof warm weather ankle socks. So picture this, viewers. After navigating a full car of family members back on a Boxing Day excursion, the weather and conditions are cold, wet, windy, and very bleak. Floods everywhere, almost no visibility. Then suddenly you get a great idea, an innovative idea. I'd received these uh, sealskin socks from my mother-in-law and my father-in-law and I thought, what better day to take them out on a boxing day in the pouring rain. It was ridiculously bad, um, but I just couldn't quite help myself. I headed out on a six mile effort in varying paces in the Pegasus 36 Shields and the Sealskins waterproof ankle socks. Now these socks are stated as being 100% waterproof, certainly still with a level of breathability. They're stated as being anti-blister, which is something that you always want in a pair of running socks. And their climate guide really is one. They've got a climate guide that goes from sort of zero through to plus five. Plus five being sort of serious Arctic kind of conditions where you're kind of navigating polar bears and penguins and stuff like that. Um, and one probably being, you know, sort of British winter time. So very grateful to receive these from the mother-in-law. Uh, these are in a size large. Um, they seem to be pretty much spot on in terms of sizing for me. I'm a UK size 11 in uh, shoes traditionally, or a, a US size 12 for you guys over the other side of the pond. So I'm first putting the socks on. Um, they kind of seemed really small actually, just looking at them from here, they, they do seem kind of really small. Um, but it's a bit like the Doctor Who's TARDIS, you know, sort of once you go inside, it's much bigger. Once you go into the socks, they felt just right really. They've got a reasonable kind of elastic kind of property all the way around them really. They kind of grip around your foot. I think that's probably part of the waterproof kind of ethos here. And they kind of grip around your foot a little bit like, um, perhaps a little bit like some sort of diving equipment. Um, that kind of waterproof uh, suits that you can get. It's a little bit like that. They do feel certainly quite reminiscent of other thermal type socks that I've worn in the past. That aside though, they don't really feel overly thick when I put these on and then put my foot into the Pegasus 36 Shields, which had been quite a tight shoe initially for me. Um, they felt great actually, felt nice and cushioned and certainly quite snug. Uh, in a good way within the shoe. And believe me, feeling snug in a good way on a night like we had on Boxing Day evening was a good thing. Surely these and these are a perfect combination for that type of evening, or so you would think. Use the Under Armour tights and a Nike running top and also the Shield Flash Nike running coat as well. Uh, to try and kind of keep some of the moisture in the rain off of the top half of my body at least. Conditions were very, very wet that evening. Rain was lashing down and there were certainly localized flood warnings in effect. There was lots and lots of standing water on the run and within the first mile, uh, things were looking really good actually. My feet felt very dry, didn't feel as if there was any water getting into the shoes and certainly into the socks and to my feet at all. I think temperatures had warmed up a little bit there to about seven degrees. Um, so it wasn't cold by any means, but certainly with the wind and the uh, rain kind of lashing against you, it did make it feel a little bit colder than it was. Weather at the moment actually, in terms of temperature, is actually very mild here in the UK. Certainly by this time we've got down to sort of three, four degrees sometimes, but it's actually very mild right now. I mean, it's easy enough for me to go out there perhaps a t-shirt, a shirt, and then a, a coat, and you feel quite comfortable. So really ideal conditions for these socks to shine. It's actually really hard to say that. It's just taken me about five or six attempts to say that. But alas, the first test was not too successful. So certainly around mile two or three, I could start to feel some water actually inside the shoe, and it wasn't really going anywhere. I've not really experienced that with the Pegasus 36 Shield before, especially where I've worn it in some quite wet conditions. Water had somehow kind of got into the shoe, perhaps over the sides, kind of over the sides here maybe. You don't tend to get an awful lot come through this sort of neoprene section on the toe box, but the water was in there and it wasn't really going anywhere. And then it seemed to start actually getting into the sock. I had pulled the um, running tights over the top of the socks in a bid to try and stop water getting in. I could feel the socks starting to get quite squelchy actually, like there was quite a lot of water in there. I was kind of thinking maybe I was imagining it, uh, but come the end of the run, no, I certainly wasn't. At mile four or five, I just practically 
felt like what I thought SpongeBob SquarePants would feel like all the time. On those initial miles of the run, I certainly did feel like the socks were quite breathable. I wasn't getting very hot feet. It actually felt really good the first sort of mile or two. I was really enjoying them. They felt nicely cushioned, adding a little bit of extra cushion to the Pegasus 36 Shield. I think perhaps the conditions on that Boxing Day evening were perhaps one step too far for these seal skin socks. I mean, they were massive, huge puddles. I wouldn't suggest they were in puddles, really. I was kind of plaiting my foot into certain areas. The water was completely encompassing the foot. Pretty much the whole front of the, the shields got soaked about four or five times, and I could feel sort of some of the water starting to seep through the front of the shoe. How it got into the sock, though, I just don't know. The actual shoes themselves took about two days to properly dry. They were that saturated. I did encounter a few tree branches that had come down on my normal route, I had to navigate through those, and you know, it was pitch black at the time. It was quite late in the evening. It was probably some of the worst localized sort of flooding I've seen for years in this area. So my theory really is that water had kind of got around the sides of the shoe, and with the Pegasus 36 shield being sort of water repellent, uh, certainly around the edges of the shoe and across the top of the foot, I think perhaps that there was so much water inside the shoe that really these just didn't stand a chance. I was actually quite glad to get back home as I took the shoes off and then the socks, I could literally empty water out of these. As I sort of turned them inside out, I could literally just pour water out of them. You know, the shoes themselves, the insoles, you could just wring them out, absolutely drenched. So in terms of conditions, I just think this was a bit of a wipeout in terms of uh, any sort of scientific experiment. The conditions were just too great for the socks this time around. But I'm certainly not gonna give up on these. In terms of fit and feel, I really enjoyed them. I think they're a great fit. I think they feel really good. I think uh, on a colder, perhaps, evening, they could save your feet from getting very, very chilly, um, too cold, and then not allowing them to get too hot so they're breathable enough that you could probably use them in sort of one, two degree type temperatures. In terms of the quality, I think they're actually very good. They're well, very well put together. Don't be fooled by the sizing. I think they do look a little bit shorter perhaps than they actually are. Once you've got them on foot, they actually feel really good. In fact, I'm gonna put them on right now. Yeah, they feel real nice. They almost add a sort of layer of cushioning kind of around your foot. So I'm gonna get back out in them as soon as I can, as soon as the weather conditions uh, permit really, to give you a second view and give them a second bite at the cherry. Interestingly enough, just looking at the composition of the socks, it says they're made of bamboo partly, I think it's about 75%. The rest is nylon and elastane, as you'd probably expect from a pair of socks. There's a membrane in between like the layers, I think it's about three layers to the socks themselves, and then the outer layers almost completely nylon with a small bit of elastane. I assume it's that bamboo layer that helps the sock to be a little bit breathable. I was quite amazed to see you could actually tumble dry these. I don't know if you can see that up there. But it says you can actually tumble dry them or drip dry them as well. Um, I had to drip dry these. Don't really like putting running stuff into the tumble dryer. I know it sounds a bit odd, but I think it kind of preserves the life of some of the gear a little bit longer. So the waterproof warm weather socks from Seal Skins live to fight another day. Gonna give them another crack at the whip soon as weather permit. Hope you've enjoyed this quick initial review of those socks. Please remember to subscribe down here in the corner. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, like, and comment below if you've used successfully or unsuccessfully any waterproof type socks. Uh, let me know your views and perhaps some recommendations on those. I'm very keen to see those. Make sure you share the video with your friends. My name's Ed Bird, and I'll be seeing you.